people don't realize how much groundwork has gone into it. It was like an evolution. Just the holy grail of black British music. It seems like Posty just came out of nowhere, created a platform, and then ran with it. Pirate radio was huge back then. But you don't know what they look like, you're just hearing someone. You hear the music, you see us at shows, and that was it. That was a start of, I guess, an era of music. You didn't have a choice about what to watch. So we came up with this idea to create a YouTube channel and call it Grime Daily. That's just right. GRM gave the power back to the artists. I used to watch a lot of videos on GRM. I just used to see a lot of new talent on there. These guys just had a camera. He was persistent, you know what I'm saying? In the first year, we were hitting a million hits a month. Everything was going amazing. And I saw it. The YouTube's been shut down. What's happened? GRM's been terminated. Whoa! It seemed like the world collapsed. We were done out here. I just thought it was a joke. I just didn't understand the magnitude of what that meant. It's not easy to have all that work taken away and then do it again. They have an ability to adapt. We came from nothing, lost it all, and still came back blasted. And that made it special. GRM became part of something bigger. We kept it authentic. We'd have to change who we are. Who's going to represent us if we don't represent ourselves? It was us, man. It was a proper us moment. It was something that was done for the culture. GRM Daily is the people. It's the power of the people.